Martin, not the result we were after today, but on a personal level, I actually thought we put in a much better performance today. Yeah, I think you're right. It wasn't wasn't the result that we were looking for at all. We were looking for for a win today, and um, that so it's always disappointing, especially at home. We're looking to win all the time, and we've been on a bad run of home games, which is also um, very frustrating. Uh, but I do think that there was a lot of good things in, in our performance today. I think in the first half, I thought we played pretty well. We didn't give many chances away, and we passed the ball really well. I thought at times, and um, without doing it in, mo in really dangerous areas, we had quite good control of the game. And so going in at half time, I felt that we were in, in a good position and doing pretty well. Um, and in the second half, I think we, we started OK, but we gave away a bad goal and then we quickly gave away another one, which really that killed us today. There wasn't It wasn't really like Cove carved us open. There weren't really much space for them in midfield. I thought that the reaction from the players from previous games was, was, was good and I think there's a lot you could take from that. Um, but we just need to be a little bit better with, our, with taking our chances. And then those couple uh, chances where we had to defend better, that was, that was the key, I think, in the game today. Their goalkeeper made a really good Saving the second half um, from a Lee Griffiths header, and um, Jace Kabaya had a good, had a good chance from a header as well. Um, so there was, a, and then there was one where Lee got through at the end with good movement and behind and a good ball from Paul Dixon, who I thought was excellent today. Um, and so there's definitely a lot to build on um, going into the last part of the season. But at the end of the day, you're you're always going to be disappointed if you don't come out with a win. And how disappointing is it not to come out with a win? But the fact that from from what you've just said, the the difference today was. You know, the team was fairly competitive to their credit, mm -hmm. but it's been a couple of individual errors that have cost us. Yeah, I think that in um, recent games, there's obviously it's you know there, you hear people saying, oh, they're not trying or they're not doing this or they're not doing that. But the players certainly were trying today, and there was certainly um, a lot of energy and a lot of effort and a lot of things that you can build on and a lot that um, that that we could be happy with if the, if the result was different. I think that um, in recent games when we've lost a goal. It's been early, it's been in the first half and then things have turned really quickly and we found it difficult to respond in a positive way. But today I thought even when we did lose a goal, we did we did respond positively, we kept at it, we kept going. Um, and there was a number of players that I thought could say, well, I had, a, I had a good performance today. Obviously that gets overlooked when we lose, I understand that, but um, I think a lot to build on there. Queen's Park, we believe, got the winner in the 92nd minute today. Yeah. Unfortunately, it does mean that the, the playoffs are out with Falkirk's reach for this year. Um, how disappointing is that? Yeah, it's very disappointing. I think that probably for a little while it's been edging away from us. And, um, you know, I think the games against Airdrie, Montrose and Cove were really games that we had to pick up points from and do better than we've done. And I think those are the games that have, have really made it difficult for us. But um, that... Is, I think the positive side, if there is anything, is like now you can focus in on what you've got to do to, to rebuild the team and to, to make it stronger and to get in the best possible position to make sure that um, the team's at the top in the future. And is that the kind of thing with, you know, Finlay Malcolm, for example, has just come into the club about the last seven, ten days ago. You know, is there the temptation now to, to give him some minutes in the next few games, for example, to to see what he can do? Yeah, possibly. It was good for him to get his debut today. He's, he's obviously young, um, so... The fact that he's involved in a first team and, and, um, at, the, and at the club where he's you know grew up in their youth youth system, I think that's a positive that we've not had for a long time. I don't know if we've had a player uh, making their debut who played in our youth system for probably a long a long time. So that was that was nice to see that today and uh, good for him. He's been doing well in training and really making the most of his opportunity. A bad week on the, the injury front. We believe Paul Watson is nine months with a cruciate ligament. Um, Javon Mills, will we see him again this year? Uh, yeah, bad week. I think you're right. I mean, gutted for for Paul, and, and that'll take a while to recover. And also, he was really a good player for us, doing very well. Jevin um, has had some issues with his back, which um, have flared up uh, mainly, I think, from from training and playing on on the Astro. Uh, seems to have affected him. Um, so he's back down with Hill. I'm not too confident that we would see him again. Having said that, I thought our back three did a lot of good things today, and, and those players did well and, and can build on what they did. So. Um, yeah, that, I think that's been one of the things that's frustrating um, in the last number of months while I've been here. We needed all the players to be available. We needed all the little things to go our way. Losing Jevin and losing uh, Paul was pretty big. Um, Anton's been out for a fair bit. Callum Morrison hasn't been available too much. There have been other little niggling injuries that players have been playing through. Um, that happens to everybody, but it's just we needed that not to happen in these months in order to really kick on. Um, just finally, on a, on a personal level, a lot of the fans have been asking this week, 
obviously now eyes will look towards next season mm. and preparations for next season. Can you give the fans any update on your own position? Have the board even been uh, in, in contact about it? And uh, regardless of that, how are preparations for next season in place? Yeah, no update on that yet. I think what we've obviously been doing is recognising really from the time we came in that we have to plan ahead and look at what needs to happen in order to, to really, I suppose, rebuild the team a little bit and, and, and put, put the right pieces in place. So that's an ongoing process. And um, there's, a, I think, quite a lot of really good conversations going on with, with players that want to come here. And it's, I think, exciting for the future. But right now it's disappointing for, for today. Martin, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you.